How do you stay on top of what's going on in your cloud environment? How can you get the data and metrics that you're looking for delivered directly to your inbox on a regular schedule? Hi, I'm Laura Giordana, and today I'm going to show you how Nutanix Cloud Manager for Intelligent Operations allows you to create and customize reports so that you can get the data that you're looking for. Let's get started. To get started with reports in Prism Central, navigate to the menu, click on Operations, and then click on Reports. There's also a reporting widget on the Prism Central dashboard. Reporting allows you to monitor your resources across your AHV and ESXi environments, including non-Nutanix ESXi environments, meaning environments that are not running on Nutanix infrastructure, but are being monitored by Prism. There are some out-of-the-box reports you can immediately run or clone to make minor modifications. For example, the environment summary report gives you a breakdown of the configuration of each cluster, and we have canned reports for DR and cluster efficiency as well. From this screen, you can also configure the report settings, so you can do things such as add a custom logo to your report and adjust the styling of the report. You can configure the email settings for the default recipients or to modify any of the content in the subject or body. And you can also modify the report retention policies. So by default, the last 10 instances will be saved, but you can also do this on a time-based duration. Let's go ahead and create a fully custom report. So let's say we want a weekly report of our VM inventory and stats sent by email. I'll click on new report and the first thing I'll do is give this report a name. So I'll click the pencil icon and we'll call it VM stats. The first thing I want to start with is a data table. Data tables are a great way to get a lot of data into a tabular format. So I want to make a table of all of my VMs. You can also filter by specific VMs based on certain criteria, like their assigned category, cluster, or other criteria. There are also predefined sets of columns, or you can choose your own custom columns, which is what we'll do here. So I'm going to select a few data points I want to see in my report. So we're going to select CPU usage, disk usage, memory capacity, uh, memory usage, uh, uh, the name of course, and the vCPU count. And then we'll go ahead and click save. For some values, you can choose the aggregation type. So the default is average, but you can modify this to the aggregation you want to see, such as last, min, or max. For the values where aggregation does not apply, for example, vCPU count, this will just return the last value. Now let's group the data by cluster so that instead of one big table full of VMs, we'll have a table for each cluster and we can do this under advanced settings. Now I wanna create a second data table for my non-Nutanix VMs. So we'll go through a similar exercise, but we'll choose vCenter entities instead of Nutanix entities and the choose the columns as we did before. Now finally, I wanna add a couple of line charts to the bottom of my report. So I want to see the memory usage as well as the CPU usage for my clusters in a line chart format. And now once I'm happy with how my report is structured, I'll go ahead and add a schedule. So I'm going to have this report run every week on Sundays at midnight for the previous week. And I can enter in the desired email recipients. Now I'm going to click save and run now so that instead of waiting for the schedule, I'm going to run this report ad hoc. The report can be generated in PDF or CSV formats and by default, it will email the recipients already added to the schedule and you can add any additional recipients needed. The report instance name and description are optional. So we can see on our report screen that this report is scheduled on a weekly basis. And if we drill into the report, we can see all of the runs of the report. And so we can take a look at the one we just did. So we can download the PDF or CSV directly from here. And looking at the PDF, we can see our custom logo and our tables for each of our clusters. So we have three clusters in the environment. And then we have also a table for our external vCenter VMs and then our two line charts at the bottom. And of course, if I hop over to my email, I can see the reports were sent to me as attachments as well. So hopefully this gave you an idea of how you can get started with your own customized reports to get the data that's important to you. You can get hands-on with reporting and other features of Nutanix Cloud Manager by taking a test drive. Just head on over to Nutanix.com slash test drive and click on the AI Ops and Automation tab to get started. 
Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and check out our other videos to learn more about how Nutanix Cloud Manager for Intelligent Operations can help you manage your IT operations more efficiently. See you in the next video.